and welcome back to Press X for Chromosomes. Well, we're gonna leave before he gets tangled up again. <laughs> yeah. Is, does he become unmovable? I mean, that no. happens? No, okay. No, he just, he spins out of it and that's it. It's, I, I didn't do that. What? The, when he spun out of it, that wasn't me. That was just the game. No, I know. I just oh, was okay. like, if he's tangled up and you go to move physically, does he just automatically get out of the animation or does it prevent you from moving since the animation isn't, but he's like tangled? I think. Or am I looking way, am I expecting this game to be way more like animated and thoughtful like that? No, I don't think anything really happens. Yeah, that's fair. I think he just, move. he spins a little bit sooner. Yeah. And then you can move while you're spinning, so it's not a big deal. Oh, okay. So really, there's no danger at all. Yeah. Except for water. Except for water. <laughs> As always in any fucking 90s game. Yeah. I gotta see what year exactly. Cause I'm, I'm, I always, with games like this, I kind of always flip between like 90s and early 2000s. Uh, I believe this was 90s because I, I want to say Crash 2 was on the PlayStation. Cortex strikes back. Yeah. 97. On Halloween. Oh, good for them. Yeah. Wow, those. I mean, okay, so that actually confirms that I had played. Yes, actually, I. I fucking... It was this one that you played? The reason why. I have to see. Okay, oh. so you see that platform off in the distance right there? Yeah, way yonder. The, 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 the one on the one. right? Yeah. That is a secret teleportation. So the only way you can get to that is you have to slide jump to that first box, mm -hmm. jump to the next box, jump to the um, bouncy box, and then jump onto the platform. And it teleports you to a new level. Oh, okay. Uh, or not a new level. I think it's like one of the ones on the first floor. Mm -hmm. And then you complete it, and then you unlock the um, the the room below level one, which is all your secret entrances and that kind of stuff. You have to unlock them mm -hmm. to open them. So, and I know exactly where another one is. It's in um, Polar's level. Oh, okay. So I can probably actually just open that one because it's pretty easy to open. Yeah. This one took me a couple tries to get, and I don't care that much to try to do it for the channel. That's fair. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm not asking for any sort of excellence while we play this. It's Good. Just, it's a it's a video game to play. It's a fun game. Yeah. I like playing just gameplay games sometimes. Yeah. No, but what I was gonna say, it, it fucking every <laughs> the fucking piece is lined up in my fucking brain. So the reason why I remember. Oh my God playing um that game or Crash Bandicoot 2 which Ooh. Bandicoot 3 came actually out a year later they were fucking churning the shit out oh was it really it was 98 fast? yeah oh, wow um but I'm pretty sure I still played 9 or 2 because like I said I recognize these levels vaguely mm -hmm. and um when I played it I was 9 years old because it was the millennium turn that New Year's. Oh. Okay. That's what I was like, oh. Dang it. And then fucking the house we were at. Um, uh huh. I think either. I don't remember when that happened. But that, that kid's brother died. That kid brother. <gasps> oh, uh, shit. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's yeah. the one I talk about occasionally where fucking that kid's brother drowned. And I was, I w yeah, it had to be, it had to be when I was younger because I was fucking an idiot. I fucking my brother came home and I just wanted to share the news and I didn't understand the gravity of it. Right. So I just was like, I was like, <laughs> like, guess who's dead? My dad was like, Your don't friends. say fucking anything. And then immediately when I did, my brother came on and said something about it because it was a fucking little kid that didn't understand. Yeah. And little kids are fucking assholes, you know. But fucking um. But yeah, so fucking, I was like, so and so's dead or, or drowned specifically. Mm -hmm. So we saw the news and fucking Max immediately cried and went to his room. And then I cried as a reaction to Max crying. Right. <laughs> I fucking, but I didn't understand the gravity still. Yeah, because you were just. <laughs> yeah, I was a little kid. I was like, I think I was like probably like six or five. Oof, duh. Yeah, when that happened. Or maybe I was a little bit older. I don't know. I, I still fucking. You, you're a goddamn idiot. Like, and. <laughs> I, I say this at 30 years old. I'm still a fucking idiot. Like, I just oh, yeah. am less idiot. I have a little bit more tact. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but fucking, like... But yeah, no, and then we spent New Year's at the Millennium turn at that guy's parents' house. Because they were, like, church friends at the time. I... 
actually don't remember where I spent the new year at. I think that's why I have such a weird, vivid memory of two. Because it was like the millennium turn. I might have been in Denver. Vis Ooh. Visiting my uncle. Ooh. I don't remember. What was the year that Lord of the Rings came out? The first 2001. One. Or mm, the first one was 90 something? 99? 98? It came out right around the millennium as well. Right. And I'm trying to remember because I believe we spent... I don't think we spent Christmas there. I think we spent New Year's there because I remember... 2001. Okay. Fuck you. So if you, you were watching like Lord of the Rings around that time, it was definitely not the millennium. Because I came out after. Unless you're watching the cool fucking like animated version like BBC put out. No, we watched it in theaters. All right, fine. I'll kick your ass again. I, I also learned something interesting about these movies. You bitch. What? Yeah, it came out after fucking 9-11. Um, in December. Uh, <sighs> Enya got super big. Okay. Right after 9-11. And I, I have to look up the reasons why. But I think it was... Like, she made a fuck ton of money off of not the actual, like, 9-11, but, like, things of playing her music a shit ton. Hmm. And fucking, and then, like, the Lord of the Rings having her. Like, she fucking... Raves. Made bank. Yeah. And now she just fucking lives in a castle by herself. Is she really? Yeah, she, she lives in a castle by herself and fucking, like... It's like, it used to be an abandoned castle, and she just fucking, like, doesn't do anything anymore. Huh. Let's see if I can find it again. It was so fucking weird to see. Oh, shit! Okay, so... Enya started work on her fifth studio album titled A Day Without Rain in mid-1998. In a departure from her previous albums, she incorporated the use of string section into her composition, something that was not a conscious decision at first, but Enya and Nicky Ryan agreed it complemented the songs that were being written. The album was released in November 2000 and reached number six in the United Kingdom and an initial peak of number 17 in the United States. In the aftermath of the 9-11 attacks, sales of the album and its lead single, Only Time, surged after the song was widely used during radio and television coverage of the events, leading to its description as a post-September 11 anthem. The exposure caused A Day Without Rain to outperform its original chart performance to peak at number two on the Billboard 200, and the release of a maxi single containing the original and pop remix of Only Time in November 2001, and she donated its proceeds season aids of the International Association of Firefighters, the top song, Billboard, uh, Hot Adult Contemporary Tracks, no. charts, and went to number 10 on the Hot 10, 100 singles. Interesting. Yeah, like, so it had, like, yeah, and then, of course, she, like, actively, like, wrote song two as well, like, the Elvin songs. Oh, okay. like that. For, or, or maybe Tolkien <laughs> included a lot of fucking singing in his books. Um, that's the one thing I see constantly. It's like, what do you think Tolkien would fucking be uh, the most upset about with the movies? And somebody's like, they don't sing nearly enough. Fucking, <laughs> 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 uh, um, it. But yeah, I, so perhaps they were already written. I didn't just, I it had her article open, but fuck actually looking into that part. Um, but yeah, at least she adapted the fucking songs. She okay. did like, did the writing of the music for those and shit like that. So they didn't actually have music. Wow, this sucks. Yeah, this this end part's kind of really rough. You gotta fucking be like real precise with the jumps. I think if I'm charging, I can jump both. Yeah. I think I can. I think I just panic jump a little bit too soon. I think I can. Considering I, I, can. I didn't hit the last box. But yeah, so there's some weird Enya lore. Thank you. Yeah.
So to get this time trial, mm -hmm. you have to be charging the entire way. Yeah, I kind of expected oh, that. Not this one. Okay, it's the other one. I saw, I saw that fucking box. In there. Yep. And I don't think I'm gonna get the box. I missed one. Yeah. Ooh. At the beginning. Yeah, I, yeah, the Inya shit. I don't know. Oh, because, like, Eric's mom likes Inya. Oh, okay, yeah. <laughs> so I was like, would she, she appreciate if I sing this song very poorly? <laughs> <laughs> but, fuck, <laughs> but uh, I ended up looking up Inya for that reason because I just was interested in why she they used her specifically and stuff well past that she had the good celtic vibes right that they were looking for but like yeah i was i was actually a little fucking kind of went down a weird rabbit hole fucking finding out the whole like 9 11 shit that she i was like i had no fucking idea she was like kind of yeah because i know attached to that that fucking deeply because fucking like i i we didn't really listen to like the radio radio Right. Uh, we listened to fucking like classical and shit like that, so I had no idea it like was topping like billboards. I didn't either. Yeah. Oh fuck. I hate those so much. They don't hurt you at least. They just kind of hinder you. Yeah. And right now it doesn't fucking matter. Nyeow. Oh, that looks like a Oh. Oh. Hmm, do I wanna try this or not? The answer I think is gonna be no. Because uh, after the second one, you see the pit there? Uh, oh, there is a pit, yeah. You have to slide jump so, like, on the money. It's frustrating. And then, if I remember correctly, it might be an automatic save when you drop down into that. Because it's, like, a hidden area. Mm -hmm. But that area, if I remember correctly, sucks ass so much. Because, um... It's got the uh, turtles in it, mm -hmm. but it's also got a guy that shoots like a gun. <laughs> and I'm a fud who let you in. <laughs> but it's annoying because it's like the bullets move so slow, but you have to time it with your jumps to make sure that you don't. Um... I'm probably gonna die. Maybe I mean not. I don't hit that one. One of these will run you into death. I don't remember which it one. It kind of seemed like that might have been the one. Okay. Um. No, it's not that one. Oh fuck. Uh. <laughs> they do their job. Their cartoon violence fucking spooks me sometimes. <laughs> it's like fuck, he dropped. But yeah, no, it's just I I remember trying to do that one. It's frustrating, and I don't care for it. So. No, we're playing for funsies, not for fucking yeah. winning. Past the generalness of the uh, game. Winning the uh, the level. Winning winning as we see the credits at some point. Without us initializing it. No huge promises. <laughs> I will try. I promise this. No. <laughs> Fuck. I would love at some point, but I never am, to just be like a weird hidden sleeper agent. That like when uh oh that shit gonna go away oh oh that's just the, oh it doesn't actually go away no I thought it was like timed like the Mario things no but I was gonna say I'd love to be like a weird sleeper agent like be like nah I'm not good at this game like a hustler oh yeah 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 but fucking like like man I fucking hate platformers I'm not good at them yeah. like blah blah and then fucking you hand me a controller and I fucking obliterate at it. I could probably, like, for someone who doesn't know me, I could probably trick them for Spyro. Yeah. Like, man, I'm terrible at Spyro. Oh, you mean a no-death run? Okay, bitch, let's go. Hmm. Like, I'll give you a no-death run. I deathed so many times just fucking driving into fucking, like, a pit, like, charging. Yeah. <laughs> Irresponsibly. <gasps> Whoa! <sighs> no. I hope I'm helping by adding to his woes. His woes? Yep. <laughs> his woes are being controlled by me. <laughs> I, I like that it interrupted your sentence more than anything. Fucking Christ. I'm just gonna slide jump.
Fuck you. Looks like you don't have a choice on that one. No, I know one of them just will throw you right into death. I really feel like... Yeah, it skips that one exactly. Yeah. It doesn't matter. There's like the two boxes on the other side of that. Um, the jump fence. Because mm -hmm. if I'd gone that way, I'd probably have been able to... Or maybe it just sends you back in like one of the ones, in one of the pits that you fall down in. I don't know. I have a loose memory of everything in this game. It's like you played it and then it got hit in the head, so everything's super vague. <laughs> I played it when I was a child, then I played it once as an adult and went, yeah, I just really like three. <laughs> you know what? Yeah, that's enough for me. Yeah. And then we're like, let's play it for the channel. I mean, I don't mind it. It's a fun game still. Well, we're, we're gonna play three too, because that's the yes. one you specifically like. I very much like. We're just three. we're like warming up, and we thought we'd give like more than one game. Why not? I can't remember if we can actually spend those off. There's the eel in this one. Yeah, and again, like, my problem is, too, is, like, I'm remembering more levels from, like, or I'm trying to do the powers that you get in three mm -hmm. rather than um, remembering that you just don't get shit in two. It seems like... No, actually, that checks the fuck out, because I was going to say that, like, it seems like the threes of all of our childhood games mm -hmm. had suddenly, like, let's try powers and things like that. Right. Even Spyro does that. But then I remembered how tandem fucking Crash and Spyro were. Mm -hmm. And that's why people associate them together. Because they're kind of, like, not exactly similar game types, but they're both, like, gameplay heavy. Right. And came out around the same time. So fucking... I think that's why... Like, it's... It, I, I feel like studios were more friendly towards each other instead of like I think so can't too, tell yeah. anything. Uh, there's something about this room that I'm trying to remember, but I think is this just a nitro room? It might just be a nitro room. Can you do anything about it? Uh, there's probably a nitro switch later. Ah, uh, because I know because I remember like at least from the first game, and I don't know if it changed that you had to like every box including the nitros yes mm -hmm. the okay, nitros so the same yeah the nitros are included in that um in one of these sewer type levels there's a split path mm -hmm. and one of them actually takes you to a colored gem damn and awesome. yeah oh this is just a bonus okay okay Did I tell you my freaking Houdini cat was figuring out how to unhook his fucking cone? <laughs> no. Eric and I found on twice, two occasions, uh, his fucking cone was like unhooked at the bottom. Oh and we were like, what? And he was just biting at them. Uh, he would be biting at them just to... Cause baby rage mad <laughs> right right <laughs> yeah and now he's sedated more because the medicine we have to give him right now yeah yeah and fucking uh so he doesn't have the energy to bite at it anymore or maybe he got discouraged because we kept rehooking it right but fucking I, I saw him like actively biting at it at one point and i was like i don't know if it just like if he was doing that because it bothered him or if he was actually genuinely figuring out that he probably could bite it off ultimately yeah. But fucking, he was he was fucking trying, and Don't I go down there. and I um. Fortunately, like he stopped doing that. But he also really stopped doing it when he put the donut on as well. Oh yeah, so he's just like, there's no point. Because the vets was like, you might want to put the donut on also just to keep the cone forward enough. Okay, yeah, yeah. Um, and it that just broke his spirit <laughs> enough that he hasn't Aww. tried. He just likes the cone now. Woo! And then he's I don't think he hates the donut. Because he uses it as, like, a fucking neck cushion to sleep against. Aww. He just can't pretzel as efficiently anymore. I hate these parts where you have to run towards the camera, because I... I mean, I'm choosing to run back towards the camera. I just can't... See? 
Oh, this is one of the levels where you can very easily miss the missiles. I just can't, couldn't see. Like, you, I don't like not being able to see that far in front of me. Right. And that's where it's like, I've played it, so I kind of know where stuff is. Yeah. Also, I mean, you just experience it so theoretically. Your brain kind of remembers. Right. Whereas I am choosing not to pay attention too much. I mean, you don't need to pay attention, so. Well, I mean, I am. I'm just, my brain's not actively like, remember this. Right. Because I have no reason to. I think you cannot kill those eels, which is annoying as shit. Okay. Oh. Do, 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 do. Please make it make sense how he can spin. Yeah, he spins Up like. Here. She got a jackpot. I didn't realize it was like not just a subtitle. <laughs> okay, you go all the way down. Or you go past it, right? He goes past it here, but I do not think he passes it down there. Oh, he does. He do pass it. It do go and down. And I cannot remember if it stops you at the end or if you'll just fall off. Mm hmm. Fruit. Just really want an apple. I know. I, okay, it does stop you. It's so, I hate how easily um, suggests the bull I am when it comes to like food. I know. Food it's and games. So if obnoxious. I see any sort of, even if it's like the fakest looking shit, I'm like, I'm hungry for that now. Yeah. And it's like we got food at home, and I'm like, but it's but not I want bad food now. Yeah. Damn it! You can't. <gasps> hey! Hey! Fuck it. Who cares? that. Hell yes. And who cares? It was Aku Aku. It was your free pass. That is fair. I believe Cortex will show his face now. Can fucking tell him to... No, sir. No, thank you. What's the other th That's time the trial? That's the colored gem. Yeah. Which... Yeah, the one at the bottom is time trial. That one is a time trial, but the... Green one that's a uh, color like gem. Ten of twenty-five crystals. You're on your way. I'm running low on power, so communication from this point will be difficult. Damn, I love town. That would be the subtitle right now. <laughs> I'm counting on you. Thanks. So when he mentions twenty-five crystals, he, I believe, is referring to the five hidden levels uh. or the five hidden paths. So it's like I don't I don't think we played twenty five levels, but okay. No, no, no. But, but I think it's a good place to stop. So yeah. we'll catch you guys on the next episode of Komodo Dragons. Uh, yeah. Oh the Komodo Brothers. Brothers. Yeah, I didn't realize he had a brother. Yeah. <laughs> I only knew of the one. So good place to stop. So until next time. Bye.